Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you have had an amazing week. I have been completely addicted over the past few weeks to Pinterest. I just have been loving putting together Pinterest boards of what outfits I want to be wearing throughout the rest of summer and as we go into autumn and into winter as well. And so I thought I would do a video recreating some of the really simple outfits that I've loved the most and I feel like I've been gravitating towards on my Pinterest boards. I think that a lot of the pieces that I save are things that people would have kind of tucked away in their cupboards and it's really a lot of basics but it's just a really cute look. And also I have been in a season where I feel like every time I look at the clothes that I have I go through this I have nothing to wear sort of mood and that's kind of a common phase that I go through and it kind of perpetuates this thing where I feel like I need to buy more stuff in order to be cute and in order to have good outfits but I want to start challenging myself to styling what I already have and hopefully A that will save me some money but also B um, it'll just teach me to love what I already have and teach me to utilize what I already have a little bit more. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first outfit that I'm going to try and recreate is a really, really basic outfit. She just has some dark jeans. It looks like it would be more of a straight fit. Just This is just me guessing though. It could be skinny, but it has that kind of wrinkle while she's sitting that looks like it could be a wider fit or a straight jean. She also has a plain kind of boxy white tee tucked in and she has a little, what is that called? <laughs> and she has a little bandana in her hair. So let me see if I can pull together some pieces to see if I can make this work. Okay, so the first piece of clothing that I think would match her jeans really well are these jeans from COS. They are meant to be a straight fit but I feel like they look like more of a barrel leg sort of fit. They're really cute, really flattering. Probably the best jeans that I've had in a really long time, just so comfy. Then she had a white tee tucked in. You can use any dark jeans and white tee too to make this look as well. I think sometimes I know that I fall into the trap of seeing someone on TikTok or Instagram or Pinterest and trying to find the exact piece that they have and oftentimes on Pinterest especially it's so hard to find the exact brand so then I just kind of give up on styling that sort of look but something like this is so easy to recreate you literally just pull the shirt so that it's a little bit baggy you have your jeans and you can pick up your bandanas from literally any thrift store. There's a lot of Instagram stores that sell secondhand bandanas as well that are really, really cute and good quality. You can really find them anywhere. I got this one years ago from Cotton On. And I have not tied a bandana in the longest time. So I'm not even sure if I can make this look cute, but let me give it a go. Then I just pull out some front pieces. And make sure that it's kind of sitting in the place that I want. And there you go. Really cute, really easy. And I think the bandana just adds a really cute extra effect I have. I have double hoop earrings in as well and if you added a bunch of layered up necklaces that would be really really cute. I would probably wear this with some black strappy sandals or clogs even. I've been getting into a real clog phase recently. Obviously in the picture I can't see any shoes that she would choose but there are heaps of options with something this basic. The next outfit I have pinned I feel like is very beachy and summery still. Even though it really covers you up, I would use a lot of light materials. You could do this with linen pants. If you don't have cargo pants, I would go with like a nice wide leg linen pant, whether that's like something dark like a navy or a cream sort of color. Both would be cute. For me, I know that it's summertime in Australia, but I would wear this 
even right now because of how breezy it is. We get the wind coming right off the water some afternoons and it gets so cold. So I think that this is still something really wearable no matter what the season is. And then you can layer up and put a jumper over top or whatever if it's really cold where you are. These green cargo pants are from Jeff Avenue. I got them a size too big so they could be like a low-waisted sort of baggy fit. And they are so comfortable. I literally can wear them kind of more dressed up with like a cute silky sort of top. The girl in the picture, I'm not sure if it's... I think her shirt is like a blue poplin. Is that how you say it? Poplin, poplin sort of button up. So if you have a boyfriend or husband, just steal their light blue work shirt and it would go with this perfectly as well. I have my breezy shirt from Jeff Avenue as well that I could have worn with this, but the pinstripe didn't quite match the look I was going for. This is a denim button up that I got from a Instagram secondhand store called Clothes on the Line. I think it suits the look just fine and kind of gives that desired effect. It's very casual. I would probably really showcase some more dainty girly pieces like my earrings or some necklaces or even a pair of sunnies tucked in the front. Luckily for me, the girl in the picture was wearing shoes that I own. So I'm just wearing my Boston Birkenstocks in, I can't remember the name of the color, but I'll link it down below. And it's a very cozy, sort of everyday, slouchy, easy breezy sort of look. I think that just on the fact that this is so comfortable and wearable and warm when it's windy, I will come back to this outfit before summer is out. If I just go to watch the beach sunset, this would be perfect. Ooh, this next outfit is really cute. In, in the last styling video that I did where I styled items that I bought recently and thrifted online. I spoke about this dress from a store called Dylan's store on Etsy. She sells these amazing like French antique underdresses that you can wear, well that I wear just as a normal sundress. Okay, so the girl's dress was slightly different. She kind of had like embroidered paneling down the front but I don't think it really matters when you're thinking about what outcome you wanted from this. She had a high neck dress on, so I've just done the buttons up. She was also wearing some, just some tube socks with some shiny black leather shoes. And again, this outfit is one of those ones that is so simple and easy to recreate, but just outside of the box a little bit from what I would normally wear. It's giving schoolgirl vibes a little bit, but what she did to make it a little bit more playful was she laid up these little beaded necklaces that are colourful, so it kind of took away from the very monochromatic sort of look. I do have necklaces like that. The necklace that I would choose in this situation, because it's the only beaded necklace I have, is this little one from a store called Call Me The Breeze and it has a little M for Michaela and just pop that over the top. I would probably add a couple more if I had them but I didn't and that's it. Very cute. You could add a really cute like woven bag or if you wanted to go for more of a less of a casual look and more of a dressing up sort of look you could go with a little bit of a leather over the shoulder. This one is so light and I feel like it's so good for a really, really hot day. But yeah, this one's really cute. I'm going to re-wear this if I ever go out for breakfast with someone, I think. Yeah. The next outfit I think would be really easy to do straight after this one because I'm just going to tuck this dress into a pair of Levi's. This is one of my absolute favourite tricks when you feel like you're running out of outfits is just to pop jeans over a dress and all of a sudden you have a new top that you didn't even know you had. I know it does wrinkle the dress but I don't really mind that. <laughs> I try and like smooth it to go as far down and as flat as possible and to kind of go with the shape of the jeans rather than to bunch up as well. Okay, 
and then you button up. The girl's hands in the way, so I can't tell if she's wearing a belt. But she's wearing a really colourful vest. You might not need a belt for that. Because I don't own any colourful vests, I will just pop this little dark navy vest over the top. And I know this goes without saying because it's kind of the standard for every outfit that I've talked about so far, but layered gold necklaces, some gold rings would really jazz this up if you don't have the colours. And she's wearing slip-on either Gucci or a copy of Gucci um, loafers or slides or whatever they are. I'm just going to close this because the contrast is really stressing me out when I'm trying to show an item of clothing. But I would just pair this outfit with these clogs. It gives a really bohemian sort of hippie kind of look, which is really cool. It, it still doesn't lean out of being something chic and that you could wear while you're out and about without looking too much like a pirate. Not that I mind looking like a pirate because I feel like pirate outfits are very cute, but yeah, this one is really sweet. Oh, this one is something so easy, but very Pinterest girl. I feel like I've seen a million variations of this outfit where it's a floral dress or even a white dress. If you don't have a floral dress, that's fine. With a sweatshirt or a jumper kind of cinched in the waist but baggy on the top, hair clipped back and sneakers. So. A fun fact about this dress, this is the dress that I wore in Justin and my engagement shoot a few years ago, but this, the great thing about it, it's from Zara by the way, the great thing about it is that you can just re-wear it all the time, whether that's for something casual and you just wear it with Converse or even if you wear it with like heels and do your makeup really nicely, it always turns out so cute. This sweatshirt is from Jeff, but if you want to wear any staple grey sweatshirt, even if it's a boyfriend sweatshirt, I would, if it doesn't cinch in the waist, wear a belt and just tuck it up so it kind of has that desired, desired sort of puffy effect and it's not hanging down. And something I love about this girl's, the way this girl styled this, is that she kind of had the feminine touch with the floral. A cozy touch with a grey sweatshirt and then kind of more of an edgier, cooler touch with the sneakers. I had a really cute vintage store the other week and I got this little purse. So I'll probably add this in because she has something over the shoulder. And then you're done. Sneakers, socks, floral dress, jumper. You can wear a floral skirt too. And then an over shoulder bag. That's a really cute look. Okay, I'm pop popping my Levi's back on. The next outfit that I'm going to try is a double denim outfit. When I was a kid, I was so daring and I would wear double denim all the time. I think since I've started getting older, I've grown a little less daring as to what I'll put together. So I want to start going back into the realm of being a little bit more daring. This is the picture. It is super cute. This girl has put these things together in such a comfy looking way. Again, I would probably wear this on a colder day or a cooler evening, but we do kind of fluctuate between really hot and a little bit windy and cold here. So that wouldn't be a problem for me during the summertime. So I'm gonna grab that denim top that I wore a little bit earlier with the cargo pants. My only complaint with this is the shades are really close, but not quite the same, which is a bit annoying, but it's fine. And then once you're happy with how tucked it is, you button it and then pull up a little bit just to have that extra shape. Because you don't want to be tight, 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 tight all the way down. You want it to naturally add shape to your body. The girl in the picture tied her hair in a ponytail. Already looking cute. But if it's a colder afternoon, I would follow what this girl was doing, which was popping a navy jumper over her shoulders. 
I don't have any plain navy knits and I kind of wish I did because I feel like the stripes kind of make this a bit a bit too busy but you can picture it this and then she wore Boston's <laughs> the shoe of the year I feel and then her jeans were just a little bit longer so I've rolled down my jeans to kind of hit the top of my foot That moment when your neighbor drives past and you immediately run and hide because you don't want them to see you posing to a camera in your bedroom. But yeah, this is cute. I think I would prefer a thin knit jumper, even if that meant changing the color. So I might, I might opt for a different color if I wear this out just because this is too thick and it kind of swamps my upper body. Still cute though. This next outfit is super easy. As you can see, I've already pretty much replicated 90% of the outfit. This skirt is the dream skirt from Giraffe in Ash, and this top is from Free People Intimates. I swear, they have the cutest slip dresses, the cute, cutest sort of singlet vest tops. Um, has a little cutout in the back. And the girl who wears this outfit has an oversized denim jacket. For this sort of fit, I would buy a men's jacket. I bought this jacket for my younger brother when we were in high school and then he outgrew it and he gave it to me, which is good because I always thought it was very cute. So it's kind of an oversized fit and it finishes quite low. And with this outfit, she's wearing cons. And then that's it. Super basic, super easy. If you get hot, you can literally just take this off. You could have a jumper over your shoulders, tie something around the waist, very easy, very cute. A shoulder bag that's like a little leather one would be really cute with this outfit. But it's really easy to wear and then if you get hot, a half up, half down would really suit this as well. This last outfit on my Pinterest board is one of, is my absolute favourite. It's the reason why I decided this video was a good idea. I just love how it's really edgy, definitely different from things that I would normally wear, but I have access to stuff that I could style that look very easily with. It's just something I wouldn't think of normally when I'm styling an outfit. Normally I go for easiness, just chuck it on and go out, or something that I'm used to combining, so I don't have to think about it or stress if it's a bit different than what I would normally go with. But I think this is going to be cute. So again, another Jeff skirt, but I feel like, even though I feel like I'm repeating myself, it's a good thing that I repeat these pieces so much. Because they're basics, I really, I really use them a lot, like, and that's the thing that I've really learned this year is like investing in quality basic pieces it does not mean that I'm a basic dresser, it just means that I have a baseline. And also that reusing clothes is fine. I bought this shirt for my husband for either his birthday or for Christmas within the past couple of years. And I don't know if it's a bit big for this look. I feel like she kind of does this so then you can kind of see the whole outfit. I know that she's wearing shorts in this picture as well, but I don't own black shorts. So a black mini skirt is kind of the best you're gonna get. And that's the whole thing about recreating outfits you see online as well, is it doesn't have to be the exact same. And I wanted to shy away from trying all the time to, from trying all the time to repeat exactly down to the brand what other people were wearing. Because this is super cute. I would have no idea what brand her shorts are or what brand the white men's shirt she's wearing is, or her loafers, but you kind of get the same sort of look anyway with this. Um, again, I would probably put I probably put sunglasses in here. If it's a really hot day, I wouldn't wear the singlet top underneath. And I know that this isn't white; it's baby blue. But again, kind of living with the vision of the outfit rather than copying it down to a tee. This one I think would be so sweet just going out with friends of an evening, um, particularly on those warmer nights. But even this with like a giant leather jacket over the top 
could solve the problem of you being chilly if there is a wind. So cute. And again, I would layer just like a bunch of necklaces. I have all my hoops layered up at the moment. I want to get my thirds done. But so cute. Very like chic and edgy, which is not normally what I go for. I'm normally more of a girly girl. But this is definitely a look that I'll return to. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment down below letting me know what your favorite summer staples are because I'm trying to get more <laughs> outfit inspiration and your help would be much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, if you could give a little thumbs up, that would be so helpful to me. I actually took a big break over summer, so the algorithm is punishing me at the moment. But if you give a little like, even better, a like and a comment, or if you want to subscribe and hang around for a little while, that would be amazing. The more this little online community grows, just the more excited I get that I'm meeting so many beautiful people online and that we get to talk about all sorts of things like beauty and lifestyle and faith and all of these things. So if you want to subscribe, I would love to have you as part of the journey. But I'm gonna go now because I'm sweating <laughs> from changing outfits a hundred times and I just need to be in some PJ shorts and a t-shirt at the moment because it's that kind of day where it's getting really warm and I closed all the windows so the breeze wouldn't make noise while I was recording. So I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you so, so soon. P.S. I am thinking of updating my recording schedule, of uploading on Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, just to kind of get myself back in the habit while my bookings are low for work so if you are interested in that let me know but i'm happy to continue with just uploading on sundays as well anyway love you so much goodbye have an amazing day